All right, so here I am today sitting in my beautiful living room and Blake is my guest behind his screen that he spent a good chunk of time setting up. I remember watching videos of Blake trying to set up this thing and having these technical difficulties and you look pretty good right now, Blake. So Blake is from N2L Transformations. He is in the business of helping people change their mindsets, change their lifestyles and really live more empowered lives. Back in 2015, he joined what's called the, he, he joined the Healthy Wealthy Wise coaching program, but that wasn't before he decided to become a certified life coach so that he could really enhance what he has, what he knows, what he's been through, and really help clients transform their lives. So Blake, how did it all start for you? I am um, for me, uh, I, I came through a journey of, uh, of adversity uh, myself uh, back when the, uh, the economy collapsed. Um, I have, was sitting in a, in a low paying job, uh, but a job I was very lucky to have given the, the, uh, the, the nature of, of uh, the economic climate at the time. I was pretty fortunate to have the job, but uh, it, it was a job where I led a very sedentary uh, lifestyle during the day. I put on a lot of weight. And uh, so coming out in 2010, uh, I found myself uh, in, in a pretty rough position uh, with a, a, a lot of extra weight gain. I was uh, a good 100 pounds overweight and uh, not doing much better financially. A lot of people were having trouble financially at the time. And that was about the time that uh, my wife and I discovered we were about to become grandparents. And, uh, and my, my, my little joy, my Alora, who, who is now eight years old, <laughs> she was uh, born in November of that year. And, uh, so I had to walk away from the job and, uh, you know, I won't even get into the, 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 the subtle, uh, struggles and traumas that you face. Um, I was actually, uh, I had some friendships collapse because I quit a job uh, in the height of, you know, terrible economic time. And a lot, a lot of my friends just didn't understand, you know, even though my circumstance, they couldn't understand how I, how I would leave a job at that time when other people were, you know, begging to have a, a job. And I understand their mindset, but, uh, it, it, it just was that my daughter had a lot better, uh, future ahead of her, you know, like she, she had more opportunity. She was finishing school and, uh, we said, look, you know, we're not going to let her give that up. So, um, I left the job. My wife was making considerably more money than me, so she stayed in her job, and I stayed back to to raise this 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 child. And in order to do that, I needed to get in a lot better shape, and I needed to figure out, you know, what I was going to do with my time. I <laughs> I needed to make a lot of decisions, a lot of changes in my life, and so that that's when I began just coaching myself. Literally, I I began figuring out how to, how to get out of this this rut and. The way that I did it was by changing my mind first, and, and, and that's now what I teach other people, is that I took myself away from all my own negativity, all my own scarcity, all my own fear, and put myself in a position where I, every day I visualized being this perfect grandpa, <laughs> you know, to this, to this child, being a better father, being a better provider to my family, being physically, emotionally, spiritually, and financially capable of, you know, of, of, of doing everything for my family that I wanted. And the more I visualized it, the more I was able to formulate better actions. And those actions led to greater accomplishments. And I just kept the, the ball rolling. And as the economy started to, you know, recover, I began to recover and I had, you know, turned my life around. And next thing I know, so many people were coming out of the woodwork, folks at the gym, folks uh, where I used to work, everywhere I encountered people who said, Blake, what is your secret? <laughs> you know, what is it, you know, what is it you've done? And finally, it was actually the personal trainer that I'd worked with who said, Blake, you know, you need to go get certified as a personal trainer, as a coach, as something. You just need to go get the qualifications so that you can take the expertise that you have had, the experiences you've had in your life, and share it with people. There's so many people out there who would love to know what, what it was you did, what your process was, to get to, to where you are now, and, and to do what you did. And in such a short time, I mean, it was, you know, I had no choice, I had to get on it. So it was done very quickly. And you can't have that kind of result in that kind of speed, or more importantly, that sustainable, without making a mindset change. And that was what I went about. And as I went through it and was gaining these 
uh, certifications and qualifications uh, that allowed me to educate others. Um, uh, each door that opened would, when it would lead to another door, you know, and, and things would keep opening. And uh, I basically spent about a year just accumulating qualifications and not just so that I had credentials, but each of these qualifications brought me new education, new learning. I had the ability, I had the experience, I had the, the, the story to tell, but each and every one of these uh, credentials and, and, and uh, uh, accreditations as I went through taught me uh, how to be better and better and better at teaching that to people and sharing that with people. Just telling somebody your story makes for a, a great Facebook post, but it, it doesn't guide people in their lives. You, you need to learn how to teach and pass it on. And one of the most valuable uh, accreditations I got was Certified Coaching uh, Federation. And through them, I was exposed to the Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise coaching program. And one of the most exciting things about that was that it gave me built-in resources that I could immediately share with my clients while I was still building out you know, all the assets and, 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 and facets of my business yep. uh, so that I could serve immediately. And then later I was able to serve in a much higher level. And it's still, you know, as much as I built up many, many resources and programs of my own now at this point, I still look to the Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise coaching program because you're always teaching and serving at a higher, higher, a way higher level. When you've got those resources, you've got a coach coaching you to be uh, you know, better coach to serve others, and you've got always got those resources, which you can provide directly to clients by connecting them to the program, or you can just, you know, I, for the first little while, I use those resources to, to teach myself, to hone my skills, and pass that on to my clients. So there's always one, two, three tiers of service with Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise that allows you as a coach to better serve your clientele indirectly, directly, and what I call hyper directly, <laughs> because you, you literally can immerse them in the program themselves, take them to the higher level where eventually you find your client becomes the coach themselves. They now take their journey and, and they move on in, in, in that way. And I find the perpetu the, the, the perpetuity, I love that word, but I can never say it. <laughs> the perpetuity of that business model is the most exciting part of it. Eventually, you know, there will be no more uh, clients in the world. We will all be coaches guiding our lives and, and building a better world. You know, when we all become leaders, when we all become the teacher, you know, then all we're doing is just constantly learning and growing. And what, what an amazing world that will be when we stop being followers and victims and become leaders and growers and, and, and agents of change. So that's, that's where it began for me. And that's, that's how I got excited in the program. And that's why I continue to be incredibly excited in the program. Yeah, that's awesome. You're now, you're now in your fourth year of the program and still you continue to see that putting yourself first makes the biggest difference because then client coach coach becomes or client becomes coach and it goes on so so on and so forth what is the most empowering part about being in the healthy wealth and wise coaching program for you you know there's amazing services programs you know webinars interactions coaching etc but for me the thing that really does it is i think the most sustainable factor of it and that's the mindset the mindset change because that was what it was about me i mean that's what i teach and that was the biggest thing that excited me when i was introduced to the healthy wealthy and wise coaching program every facet of it is about changing your mindset and i said hey that's perfectly in alignment with what i'm doing and so I found that it enhanced me, it enhanced my teaching, it enhanced my resource offerings because, you know, we were so aligned. But the most important factor is that I think as good as the resources, as good as the information, the research, the programs, the facts, the everything, and the coaching are, probably the most powerful component of the Healthy Wealthy Minds coaching program, and the thing that sets it apart from probably any other program you could ever think to be in, is the community. Because nothing affects your mindset more than the community that you're in. When you join the program, there's an overwhelming amount of information, and not, not necessarily just the quantity of the information, but the quality of it. And most importantly, it's information 
that demands you to change your mindset. I mean, you have to take a total paradigm shift in everything that you've known. The veil is lifted from all the lies we've been told. And, and when the, and not much truth comes at you, it is overwhelming. And the great part is, next thing you know, wherever you turn, there's, there's a member, a Healthy, Wealthy, Wise Coaching Program member, uh, fellow coaches, uh, you know, people who are still, you know, in their journey, uh, people who are still dealing with adversity, people who have recently overcome, people who have, you know, been overcome for a long time. It's all different, you know, ranges of people, but everyone is like-minded and is, is devoted to, to me creating that mindset change. And some people have just begun the transformation into that mindset change. And, and I learn from them because, you know, I, I'm, I've come a little ways from where they are and I'm reminded of, of, of my struggle and I can help them. And there's other people who, you know, are far, farther ahead in the transformation than I am. And I learn from them. And we all just, you know, get together and serve one another in that mindset change because it's one of the most powerful parts of the program. It's also one of the most overwhelming parts of the program. It is one of the greatest challenges to really being successful in the program is making that change, learning to shed your scarcity, your fear, and your doubt, and embrace the abundance. And as Mike Chambers likes to say, embrace that life is an adventure and get on with living it. And, and that's what it is. And once you get that, you're on your way. And I find that more than any other part, the resources, the coaching, or anything else, it's the community the family that is Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise Coaching Program, that is the biggest thing that helps you to get that mindset massaged into your brain and helps you to comfortably and smoothly transition into the life that you've always wanted and to have it without fear, without doubt, without scarcity. Right. And over the course of the, the four years now that Derek and his team has put together, that slogan was always a community to change the world. And Today, that stands incredibly true. And I know, you know, and every member of this program knows that over the next 20, 25 years, whatever it may be, that community aspect is going to hold strong because that was the core fundamental value right from the beginning. It's about we're this community to change the world. And to do so, we have to get out of our own way. We have to realize that, that uh, volatility is a good thing. We have to realize that you can't be afraid of things. You have to push through. You have to keep going. So what do you think is, what do you think makes an effective leader? And Derek Sweet is the foundation of this program. He's the, he's the uh, cement brick house layering. What do you think about him and his leadership in this program? Well, it's interesting because what I, I love most about Derek is if he were here right now, he would correct you. He yeah. would say, I'm not a leader, Greg. I'm another member. You are right. I'm the, res I'm <laughs> I'm the resident stock research person. You know, I, I produce the stock research, the, the, the company research that, uh, that our members can use to make investment choices. But apart from that specific task, I am another member of the program. And if that doesn't exemplify great leadership, I don't know what does because that's what it is. You know, they, 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 they always say that, 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 you know, good leaders, you know, will create followers great leaders will create other leaders. Well, Derek Sweet is not even subtle about his, his, his goal, his, his, his mission to create a bunch of leaders. I think one of the most exciting parts of being in this program is that knowing that while we're sitting here reaping the benefits, while we're learning and growing and investing and creating wealth and creating personal freedom and creating the life we dream of, we, you know, there's a catch. There's a <laughs> there's there's an end game here. One day, Derek will be coming back and saying, "All right, now it's time for you to give back." the 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 whole mindset change of this is that you come in saying, "Oh, well, I joined the program because I I need more money." Right? How many times do people say that? I need more money, and you go, "Well, how much money do you need?" Oh, I don't know. I just know I need more money. <laughs> That's like, and the reason they can't answer the question is because they don't know what the money's for. They don't know. If you don't know what the purpose of anything is in your life, money or love or anything else, if you don't know what you're planning to do with it once you've got it, yeah. you'll never get it. And if you do, for some reason, you'll lose it. And that's the first thing we're taught is what to do with what we gain. 
what to do with your newfound health, what to do with the fact that you're going to live to be 110, what to do with, you know, the money that you're going to get from, from, from making great financial decisions using the incredible research that's provided. What are you going to, you have to answer that question before you even get started in the program. And once you have the answer to what am I going to do? What's my mission? What's my purpose? Why am I here? Yeah. Then you can go about creating the resources required to, to do that. And the wonderful part is there's two, two answers to the question. Because there's what am I going to do personally? But then there's how am I also going to serve the greater purpose of the Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise coaching program right. somewhere down the road, somewhere in the future. I was you know, just honored to be on a call recently that uh, Derek uh, was uh, hosting. And in it, he literally revealed his, his you know, master plan. And one day he's going to be calling on us and saying, look, we're going to go storm the castle. We're going to go change the world. We're going to run these guys out of town. We're going to make them change their policy. We're going to lobby this and jump that. Are you in? Yep. And he's going to expect a yes. He's going to expect to say, yeah, of course we are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I have unlimited resources because of all the great things that I've learned and put to work from the, from the Healthy Wealthy Mice coaching program. And yes, as I was taught, I am now ready to give back. I'm ready to create my legacy. And that's the thing. A lot of programs show you how to create some success. Many programs show you how to create a good future. This is the only program that I know of. And I've been alive 53 years. I've been in a few programs. And this is the only one I've ever seen that its aim is. And it's not, it's, it's not a secret. It is out there in, in bright, bold letters. The aim of this program is to help you create a legacy. And that's what excited me about it more than anything. Because I'm at that point. You know, I'm not, I always, always want more success. I always want more freedom. I always want to create a better life. I always want to create more abundance. Absolutely. But right now, at this stage in my life, I'm really excited about creating a legacy. Putting my name to something that will, you know, make my family proud. That will, you know, make my mark in the world. And that I will be remembered and immortalized through doing something really, really meaningful. Yep. And yep. The best, the, the best compliment I can pay to Derek that is really personal for me to him is, Derek, thank you for creating a program and an opportunity for me to create the legacy. And thank you for holding me accountable to my legacy. You know, you, even if I, if I get lazy and, and slack off on my legacy, you're not going to let me. You will make it so that I must step forward and make my mark in the world and make the change that will create my meaningful legacy. And that's, that's, that's powerful. And for anybody that's listening to that, it's, it's the truth. You can tell based on how, just on how Blake is saying that passion, that purpose, it is the legacy. It really is. There's a community that's going to really change the world. And we're going to be able to say that Monsanto no longer exists because of what we do, right? All these, these companies in the world that are taking advantage of other people for the sake of profits aren't going to be, aren't going to be there anymore. It's going to be more of a community of people that are actually working in everybody else's best interests. Yeah. Wow. That's right. Wow. I like, I don't even know what to say about that other than wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have anything else that you'd like to add as final remarks to, to anybody that might be interested after hearing little bits, bits and pieces of this or the whole thing about why the program might be right for them? Uh, I think, you know, what, what I want to say is, you know, I always do this. It's sort of a backhanded promotion of the program in, in a way because uh, I always say this. I say it many times in my videos. I definitely say it when I speak to people, you know, personally about the program. Um, and, and, and that is to understand that at the onset uh, of this and considering being part of the Healthy Wealthy and Wise Coaching Program, you have to understand that our first goal is not to figure out whether the program is right for you. Our goal is to find out if you are right for the program, okay? And that's not just a catchphrase. That's that we, we mean that because we have a very specific community. I've just been spouting off about exactly how valuable and and and. and important that community is and it's we we literally handpick the qualities of every member of that community because if you're not prepared to be a lifelong learner lifelong earner if you're not prepared to uh, embrace the mindset of of abundance and and joy and life fulfillment 
if you're going to come in and continue to be bombarded with fear, I mean, we, we, we all, we all fall prey to fear and, and scarcity from time to time, no matter how hard we try. But that's exactly why you immerse yourself in a community like this, who will help to lift you back out of it, and keep you on track. But if you're the kind of person who will come into the program and, and, and not ever be able to shed the fear, not ever be able to turn away from scarcity, not ever be able to truly embrace abundance, well, you're not going to have a good time here. You're not going to have success. The program will not be able to work its magic. You know, it's not going to work for you. And nor will you be.